Well, Alfie, old boy, looks like it's another day, another dollar. New York Tribune, five cents. Good morning, Mr. Banks. Good morning, Lyle. Aren't you cold standing out here in this weather? A little, but I have to work. Otherwise, I'll be cold and hungry. So, what's the news of the day? I could tell you all of it, but then I wouldn't make any money, would I? If you want the news, buy yourself a paper. They're only a nickel. You're a shrewd businessman, Lyle. Ever thought about going into real estate? No, sir. Have a good day, Lyle. You too, Mr. Banks. Morning, fellas. What's the good word? Good morning, Banks. Morning, Banks. Horse feathers. Why is it so hot in here? Morris apparently has a chill. He set the heating on as high as it goes this morning. Suggs and I had to prop the door open so we didn't sweat to death. We must be raking in a fair amount this month if he can afford to do that. I sure wish that kid outside would pipe down. I know what you mean, Larry. He's giving me a headache. Got a minute, Murphy? Sure, but I'm still on the clock. Everything going all right with you, Murphy? Yep, everything's copacetic. Sales going okay for you? Could be a lot worse. Could be a lot better, too. You ever going to share your good fortune with us, Banks? What do you mean? You always seem to manage to get the best leads. That's pretty lucky, don't you think? I'm not sure I like what you're implying, Murphy. Not implying, just observing. Anyway, let's drop it. I'll let you get back to work. Mm-hmm. Suggs. Yeah, Banks? How are you today, Suggs? I can't really complain. Well, I mean, I could complain. But who would listen? How are your sales going this week? Eh, not so great. I had a sweet old lady yesterday who was this close to buying an apartment for her cat. I'm sure things will pick up. And I'm sure you'd know being Morris's right hand and all. Now, Suggs, that's hardly fair. You know we're all equal in here. Ah, uh, you're right. Forget I said anything. I'll just let you get back to it. Thanks. Oh, by the way, Banks, Morris wanted to see you. Said it was important. Thanks for letting me know when I walked in, Suggs. Hey, it's been a busy morning. It must have slipped my mind. Good morning, Evan. Suggs said you wanted to see me? Have a seat, Alfie. This doesn't seem like a conversation that's going to be pleasant. I'm afraid it isn't. You know I'm not the type to beat around the bush, so here's the long and the short of it. We're not doing well. Sales are minimal and the competition is popping up all over town like a bad rash. I hate to do it, but we're going to have to let someone go. I see. Uh, who did you have in mind? That's mainly why I asked to see you, Alfie. You have more contact with Suggs and Murphy, so I think this decision should be yours. Ah, uh, well, I'm kind of on the spot here, but... I think Suggs should be the one let go. 
His sales have been the lowest consistently for the past three months. Very well, if that's what you think, then I trust your judgment. Thank you for your help, Alfie. It's always appreciated. Anything else you need? Not at the moment. Go ahead and check the assignment board in the break room for today's leads. Will do. Get to it, Alfie. Time is money, after all. He says it's because my sales were too low. Now how am I supposed to make sales if I don't get any decent leads? I hear you. It hasn't been very easy for me either. And just because Golden Boy gets all the good leads, it doesn't mean... Shut your trap. Somebody's coming. Gentlemen. Hello, Banks. Uh, you meeting with Morris Go Well? I would say so, yes. Great to hear. Well, uh, Murphy and I better get back to work. Time to make some magic. Operator, connect me to the Stamford residence in Bensonhurst, if you would, please. Hello, is this Ms. Irene Stamford? Yes, hello, this is Alfred Banks calling from Morrison Banks. I just wanted to follow up on the deposit you put down in the apartment in Flatbush. No, thank you very much, Mr. Contis. A pleasure doing business with you. Hmm, five sales in 30 minutes. I think that might be a new record. Alfie, can you come here a moment? What is it, Evan? I'm running late for the weekly shareholders meeting. Could you lock up my office for me? Of course. Here's the key. I'll be back shortly. What on earth was that? That sounds like Murphy took a spill in there. What's going on? Just being a damn clumsy fool. Don't worry about me. I was trying to change the light bulb and I lost my balance. Here, let me help you clean up. Thanks for the help, Banks. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Horse feathers! I completely forgot about locking up Morris's office! I'm back, Alfie. Got my key? Yes, Evan, here you are. Alfie? Yes? Where are tomorrow's leads? I beg your pardon? The leads for tomorrow? The ones that were on my desk? 
They're no longer on my desk. Where have they gone? I have no idea. I haven't been in your office since this morning. You know I trust you 100%, Elfie, but this is a very serious matter. I'm aware of it. Look, I'll get Suggs and Murphy together and we'll look for them. Or maybe we could just skip the drama if you look under Banks's hat, sir. What? We both saw you, Banks. There's no need to put on a charade. Coming clean will save us all a lot of embarrassment. Is what they're saying true, Alfie? What? No, I have no idea what they're talking about. Then you won't mind me looking under your hat? Just to be sure you understand. See for yourself. Alfie, really? You of all people? It was obviously Suggs and Murphy. They've set me up. Really, Banks? That's low. You're one to talk about low. How can you even look me in the eye? Now, Alfie, I know you're upset, but blaming your co-workers isn't the thing to do. It is, if they're the ones at fault. Alfie, look at it from my perspective. The leads were in my office when I left and gone when I came back. You were the only one with the key, and now they show up under your hat. What would you do in my shoes? So does this mean I've been canned? I hate to do this, Alfie. You know your father and I were great friends, and you've been an asset to this company. But for now, I think you should take an indefinite leave of absence. Fine. I see how it is. I guess I'll see you fellas around. Hey, no odd feelings, Banks. Here you go. See? It ain't even wooden. <laughs> Taking an early lunch, Mr. Banks? No, I... Sure, just taking an early lunch. Well, if you need anything to read while you eat, I still got plenty of papers left. Good morning, Mr. Banks. Good morning, Lyle. Don't suppose the news of the day can be any worse than the morning I've had. Let me have a paper, please. That'll be a nip. Thanks, Lyle. Murder, extortion, robbery, par for the course in this city. Hmm, what's this? Merrick making waves in Florida? Miami, eh? I've always heard that place was nothing more than glorified swampland. But I'll be damned if I'm just gonna roll over and freeze to death up here. When I'm finished down there, the name Banks will finally mean something again. So, Mr. Merrick, let's just see what you've got to offer. Hello, Miami. Alfie Banks has a raw. Oh, horse feathers. This humidity is something else. Right, I've got my luggage claim ticket. Now I just need to find this Hotel Belmont and... Hey there! Hello! Are you speaking to me, sir? You see anybody else around, son? Come on over here and have a chat with old Doc Dammers, why don't you? Time is money, boy, and you're putting me in the red. May I help you with something? Pardon me for saying so, my boy, but I believe I'm the one who can offer you the help. I'm really not interested in buying anything, sir. Of course you aren't. Did you think I just fell off the turnip truck? I can tell a fellow salesman a mile away. You're here to get a piece of the action, aren't you? I... yes, I suppose I am. Then consider this your own little welcoming committee. What did you say your name was? 
I didn't. It's Banks. Alfred Banks. Well then, welcome to Miami, Alfred Banks. By your complexion, I'm guessing you come from up north. Yes, New York, actually. Hell of a town, but you'll find we do things a bit differently down here. If you got any questions, feel free to ask. What's the current market like down here? I've heard quite a few things back in New York. People are buying left and right. It's a great time to be in real estate. Plenty of dough to be made. Every day, more and more locals and tourists come looking for their own spot of land, and we're here to sell. Mark my words, Banks, we're on the verge of something great. I'm interested in this Coral Gables development I've heard about. Oh, straight to the top, eh? They call it Miami's Master Suburb. It's been meticulously planned and is ready to start construction at any moment. Lots are going faster than a tin Lizzie downhill. If you want to get involved there, you're going to need to talk to the man in charge, George Merrick. Where can I find George Merrick? He's got a sales office downtown, right on Flagler Street. Look for the building made of coral rock next to the Stocks and Bonds office. You can't miss it. Of course, George is incredibly busy these days and doesn't talk to just anyone. Maybe not, but he'll talk to me. I like your spirit, kid. You'll get places thinking like that. How long have you been in this business? Probably longer than you've been alive, son. Before this opportunity opened up, I was selling lots on Miami Beach for Carl Fisher himself. Surely you saw his billboard in Times Square. You mean it's June in Miami? <laughs> of course, everyone saw that. It's partly what inspired me to come down here. Glad to hear it. That's a perfect example of good marketing and knowing your audience. Why do you think I'm out here by the train station? New arrivals are the easiest to sell to. There's a free piece of advice for you, Banks. I appreciate the information, Mr. Dammers, but I'm afraid I must be going. Of course, eager to get started, I understand. And believe me, there'll be plenty to do very soon. It was a pleasure to have met you. Maybe I'll see you around town. I can more or less guarantee that, my boy. Hello, and welcome to the Hotel Belmont. Excuse me. How may I help you, sir? Is there anything you can tell an out-of-towner about this city? Certainly. It's been growing at an alarming rate, especially in the past few years. There's no denying we're at the start of a land boom. I hear tell this new Coral Gables development is going to bring in thousands more people as well. At this pace, we could be the next Manhattan by 25. I'd like to check in, please. My reservation was made under Banks, Alfred. One moment, please. Yes, here you are. Your room will be the second door to your right when you get to the top of the stairs. Oh, someone was here earlier from the train station to deliver your luggage. It's been placed in your room. I'll just take that claim ticket off your hands for you. Thank you very much. Not a problem, sir. Please, let me know if I can assist you with anything else. Thank you for your assistance, my good man. Happy to help. Excuse me. How may I help you, sir? Thank you for your assistance, my good man. Happy to help.
Excuse me. How may I help you, sir? Thank you for your assistance, my good man. Happy to help. Hello, sir. Let me know if I can be of assistance. Excuse me. What can I do for you? Have you always lived in Miami? Nah. I moved down here from Philly after the war. Nice place. Can't beat the climate, that's for sure. What sort of records do you keep in this office? All kinds. Marriage licenses, death certificates, property titles, you name it. How far back do they go? Not too far back. 30 years or so. The city wasn't officially incorporated until 1896, but I have some records going back to 1891. You let me know if there's anything you need to look up. Could I look something up? Of course. What do you need? Hmm. On second thought, nothing right now. Thank you for your help. Anytime. Pardon me, miss. I'm terribly sorry, sir, but I'm just too busy for you right now. Perhaps you could come back another time? Another time? 
I've just come all the way from New York. Surely there's something a lovely young lady like you can do to help out a man in need? Look, Buster, I've heard it all before. Like I said, I haven't got time for you at this moment. What seems to be the trouble? Well, not that you'd care, but I need to get these letters written. And seeing as the weekly shipment of supplies has been delayed, I'm forced to do them by hand. You seem very dedicated to your job. I can appreciate that. I am, yes. Mainly because I want to keep it. Now, unless you want to come back here and pick up a pen, I really need to get back to my work. A tempting offer, but I'll have to decline. I'll be back later. Pardon me, miss. I'm terribly sorry, sir, but I'm just too busy for you right now. Perhaps you could come back another time? Another time? I've just come all the way from New York. Surely there's something a lovely young- Look, Buster, I've heard it all before. La what seems to be the trouble? Not that you'd care, but I need to get the- And seeing as the weekly shipment- You seem very- I am, yes. Mainly because I want to keep it. Now, unless you want to come back here and pick up a pen, I really need to get back to my work. A tempting offer. Excuse me. What can I do for you? Could I look something up? Of course. What do you need? Hmm. On second thought, nothing right now. Thank you for your help. Anytime. Pardon me, miss. Would this typewriter ribbon be of any use to you? It certainly would. Mine wore out yesterday, and I ordered a replacement, but it hasn't come in yet. Thank you, sir. I greatly appreciate it. This will cut my work time by half, at least. My pleasure. Happy to help. Pardon me, miss. What may I do for you, sir? I'd like to see Mr. George Merrick. Take a number. Mr. Merrick is in very high demand. I'm afraid he's not currently seeing walk-ins. Would it be possible to make an appointment to see Mr. Merrick? Certainly. Let me see. Our next available appointment is... next June. What? That's preposterous. Mr. Merrick is a very busy man. I think you've made that quite clear. Come now. I helped you out with your typewriter. Now you're just gonna hi-hat me? I don't know how things work down here, but where I'm from, one good turn usually deserves another. Okay, okay, keep your shirt on. I'll level with you. I'm not going to be able to get you an appointment, but I can tell you that Mr. Merrick keeps an eye out for fresh talent. 
If you can manage to do something to impress him, he may see you without an appointment. I see. What would you suggest? Well, I'm not sure, but you might be able to get something done at today's land auction. A land auction, you say? Where and when? It's set to start this afternoon, around 2 o'clock. You'll find it at the corner of Granada Avenue and Coral Way. Fantastic. I'll head over there right away. Good luck. Have you got any pertinent information on the Coral Gables development? None I'm allowed to divulge, sir. I'll let you get back to your work. Thank you, sir. Sold! You've made your husband a very happy man, miss. Any bids for 200, 200. Come on folks, it's a beautiful day to buy some land. Come on, folks.